What is going on everyone? It is the Major King and thank you for stopping by on the channel. Today I'm going to be addressing my full opinion of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I played the first weekend of the beta, I played the second week of the beta, so I think I have enough uh, play time and knowledge of the game to address a full opinion that will actually mean something to you guys. So before we begin guys, I just want to say I am not here to basically rip on Call of Duty. I, I'm a huge fan of Call of Duty. I've been playing it since I was super little. It's basically what motivated me to start a YouTube channel, but basically no one really understands how much time they actually put into a game. That they, They've been making this game for three years, so I don't feel comfortable just ripping on Call of Duty, even though um, I have my own opinions about it. Like This video, I'm just going to address my full opinions, but I just want to say I am not here to rip on Call of Duty. I just want to get my opinion out there. And yeah, guys. Um, so if you have your other opinions, uh, make sure to leave them down in the comments. I'm happy to discuss. But I'll respect your opinion. And hopefully you guys will respect my opinion. All right. So, guys, I basically wasn't a fan of Advanced Warfare. I wasn't a fan of Black Ops 3. And um, Infinite Warfare, to me, seems just like a copy of Black Ops 3. So like I said, I didn't really enjoy Black Ops 3 and, um, and sorry, Advanced Warfare, but I still play them because it's Call of Duty, right? Like I love Call of Duty. So whatever they put out there, I'm going to play it and I will get Master Prestige every single year. No matter what. If the game sucks, I'm just going to play it. I just enjoy Call of Duty. But the thing is, verticality and all this uh, mambo jumbo jumping shit it just needs it just needs to go all right like advanced warfare i loved that game in the beginning like i thought oh my god i never want uh verticality to go to, go away i love this it's something new but after like another year of it it's just like all right it needs to go they took the boots on the ground away and i just want it back all right one year was enough as i said but I think it's time for the next Call of Duty after this to have boots on the ground. And I'm hoping that's true. I hope they do a boots on the ground Call of Duty again. Because if they don't, they're going to have some very um, angry people. They already did this year when they announced they're doing um, a third year of futuristic uh, game. And I don't know. They just, I want it back, guys, as much as you guys do. I know the community really doesn't like this futuristic stuff. But I went into Infinite Warfare and I gave it a chance. I played it. Um, I wasn't on the bandwagon train of, oh, Infinite Warfare is going to fucking suck, all right? Like, I gave it a chance. And to me, it just seems like a total, total, total copy of Black Ops 3. But I think Infinite Warfare um, did it a little bit better than Black Ops 3, and I will get into that. Now, getting into all the futuristic stuff, I get that they want to change the game up every single year. You can't have the same game over and over and over and over again because it will get boring. And I remember uh, the year before um, Advanced Warfare came out, people were just kind of sick of the boots on the ground. And then they gave us the futuristic stuff, and um, we liked it for like half the year Advanced Warfare was out. And then people were like, oh, I don't really like this game anymore please give us boots on the ground and now um they're all just doing this futuristic stuff this is the three-year cycle after um infinite warfare is done then the three-year cycle begins again with sledgehammer games and i'm hoping that um michael condry uh listens and he does a boots on the ground game but ever since they announced infinite warfare it's been super bad on the staff like on the staff uh, everyone's been, you know, hating on them, posting stuff, disliking every single trailer they post. And it's honestly, it's kind of stupid. But I guys, I get that you guys are trying to um, prove a point, but they can't, like, stop making the game. This game was in uh, development for three years, so they're not just going to be like, oh, guys, we should just stop and only take a year to make a game. Like, they got to keep going, all right? This, that's the reason why we're still in a future futuristic stage of call of duty they couldn't stop you know making the game so they just had to keep going with it and i know it kind of sucks but once we get boots on the ground again i'm telling you it's going to be 
awesome. It's going to feel great. So, um, we even get Kai 4 Remastered. So, they gave us that if you pre order the Legacy Edition. I'm hoping most of you guys did it because that game is going to be awesome. Um, I have a campaign series right now and I'm really enjoying it. And the graphics look outstanding. But, getting back into the futuristic stuff, like I said, they can't just stop making a game. Once it's in development and they already start on it, um, there's no going back. So that is the reason why we are still um, in a futuristic stage with Call of Duty. Now, getting into the actual gameplay part of Infinite Warfare. So like I said, I think Infinite Warfare did a lot of things better than Black Ops 3 did. I also said that uh, Infinite Warfare seems like a total copy. And that is true with the uh, movement system and all that. It just kind of feels like I'm not getting anything new from last year. But I think the gun selection in Infinite Warfare is Totally better than Black Ops 3. Uh, Black Ops 3, uh, none of the guns seemed super uh, fun to use. Had no good audio files. I don't know. And they kept, whenever they did a nerf or a buff, it literally just ruined the gun. So, it, I don't know. I just think Black Ops 3 had a terrible gun selection. And now with this year, we even get variants on guns. So, it gives us more time uh, to have more fun with the game. And we're going to be able to play it longer. And it will last uh, us without getting bored of infinite warfare but the variant thing can also mean a bad thing and i'll get to that later but going back like i said the black ops 3 i just don't think um of any gun i really enjoyed using from a competitive standpoint i play game battles uh and stuff and the only gun really people use was the vmp and that was like the main gun everyone used the vmp there was no other guns used and it was just boring and repetitive the whole time this uh in infinite warfare i feel like for the competitive standpoint, there's going to be a lot more guns to choose from, and they seemed a little bit more balanced than Black Ops 3, which is awesome. Uh, the more guns and the more balanced the game is, the better uh, it will be when you're playing in a match. And it's that's true basically for any game. Getting into perks. So perks, there wasn't really much uh, you really needed. Um, and the stuff that you needed was all in the same perk slot class. So the whole class setup just seemed totally weird. And I always had one slot available that I could use. But I never really had anything I else wanted on my class. Um, that being said, I think that's a really downside to uh, the creative class part of Infinite Warfare. And the competitive side too because... Um, making a class is basically the most important thing when playing a competitive match whether it's on MLG or UMG it's the most important part so I feel like all the perks are in the wrong uh, spot they need they need to have a really good perk in perk 1 and then they need to have another really good perk in perk 2 and then they need to have another uh, major perk in perk 3 not put them in the same uh, perk slot because that doesn't make any sense but like I said, I think this was a super downside uh, to Infinite Warfare. Some other things I want to talk about are the maps. I think the maps were okay. I didn't think they were bad, and I didn't think they were fantastic. I just think they are okay. Um, the reason I say that is one of the maps I played, I it was Frontier. Yes, the two-lane map. It is so bad, guys. Like, I have no idea where the hell anyone was uh, coming from. I'd always get flanked and it just seemed like a dumb map to be honest with you. Literally everyone would be in the middle and then if someone really wanted to try they could just flank around the map and then just basically kill all those snipers that were just sniping in the middle. Um, but some of the other maps I really enjoyed. Um, I also think uh, the wall running spots are a little bit like off and they're kind of dumb. Um, from a competitive standpoint on the map frost there is a wall run on the way left side uh or you could say way right side but um there's a wall run on one of the sides and you could literally wall run the whole entire uh side to the other spawn without being spotted and you literally just need to hold the left thumb thumbstick it's not like black ops 3 really where you actually need to have like skill uh to be able to do it you can just like wall run easily across the whole entire map and that is really stupid i think and um that's what i hated in black ops 3 is when you couldn't see your enemy and all of a sudden they'd be get behind you because they're wall running and i don't know i just i hate that all right like it's just kind of dumb um I, I get that they want wall running because it it's the whole movement system but they need to really balance out the wall runs on the sides of the map 
I mean, they can't do it now. It's too late. But with these map packs and all the other maps that I didn't get to play in the full game, I'm hoping they are a little bit better. Now, the number one thing I hate in Infinite Warfare are the combat rakes. From they're literally the dumbest thing they could have brought back. All right, um, Black Ops Three. All right, if you're playing Search and Destroy one v one in a competitive match. All right, and someone has Heat Wave and you don't, you don't stand a chance. Like you don't stand a chance. And these are, just seem so OP. These uh, combat rigs are even better. And now they even have like perks on them, which is totally stupid. They're um, Infinity War always seems to go above like crazy. All right, like I remember in Ghost they had some stupid perk uh, slot thing, and it was just it was dumb. All right. This, I don't know why they brought it back. There's not even a background in any of these combat regs. They're like, all right, hey, it's a soldier, and you get this huge machine gun. Go have fun. That's literally what it feels like. Black Ops 3, they actually had some story behind them. Um, that being said, I just think it was dumb to even put them back in the game. That was the dumbest thing they could have copied from Black Ops 3. Um, Nate Shot, he had an awesome video and had an awesome example. He used an example of say you're playing for a hundred thousand dollars right and it's a 1v1 search and destroy and it's 5-5 five five, and you go out there and someone heat waves you you're done hundred thousand uh, dollars you didn't get because of heat wave it's just it's unfair I feel like and it's ruining uh, Call of Duty it really is um, especially the search and destroy uh, standpoint for a lot of competitive players uh, people that play competitive I just think are not going to appreciate the fact that they brought this back and I feel like a lot of people can back me up on this I just don't think they should be in the game and I'm hoping the next Call of Duty they get rid of them because they need to go I think I covered most of the major topics um, the last thing though I can mention is I don't really like the variants in the guns I think that's leaning towards pay to win although they added a new system where you can just earn the guns instead of having to be forced to basically earn supply drops so that's awesome that they did that but I just don't like these variants and some of the variants are just OP um, you could have a guy that kills you that could regen like faster and you won't even know that he's using that gun until after you're killed so say he uses a variant and it has a little trait or like perk on it that says oh you can heal faster and say you shoot him to like a one shot so obviously you're gonna go try and finish the kill because he's uh, super low on health but say he has this gun that can uh, regenerate health faster um, and then he kills you because you didn't know that he had that on that's just unfair and I feel like it's going to ruin um, Call of Duty. I, I actually think the variance is what's going to ruin Call of Duty and drive people away from uh, not wanting to play this game. But like I said guys, I'm going to play Infinite Warfare. I think I'm going to have as much fun as I did in Black Ops 3. Um, I did play Black Ops 3 a pretty good amount and I definitely will play Infinite Warfare a good amount. I'm always going to give Call of Duty a chance. Um, for the developers out there, uh, I appreciate that you guys spent three years on this game. I hope the full game is a little bit better. Um, some people said that this felt like a demo and not a beta. Um, they are kind of true because they don't have much time to work with now because they have basically a week to uh, fix the game and they can't make major uh, improvements to it in just a week. It takes more time than that. And they should have had this beta in the summer and not basically three weeks before uh, the full game's coming out. I just think that was kind of dumb, and I don't know. Hopefully, the, like I said, the full game's better. Like I, To the developers out there, I'm not hating on the game. I just, there's just things in it I think that were pointless. Um, if they didn't have those things in there, I think the game would have been better, and it would have played out better. But I'm not going to really make a full opinion of the game until I play the full uh, actual you know game with all the content in it this is just my my opinions of the beta and like I said this is probably what we're gonna get though in the full game but other than that guys thank you so much for watching if you have a different opinion feel free to leave it down in the comments I'm always happy to discuss and guys don't forget to subscribe and always as always have a fantastic day
Peace out, guys.